Hello everyone, it's Zara from zimahoon.com. Thank you for joining me today. I want to talk to you about law of attraction and our desire for having our loved ones join us in the discovery of law of attraction and using the tools to create a wonderful life. This is one of the things that I get asked quite a lot. Zara, I believe in law of attraction. I've changed my life. I feel so much better. I have so much more going for me now, but my husband doesn't believe in it. My daughter doesn't believe in it. My partner doesn't believe in it. And I don't know what to do. I wish they were more on board with me. How can I get them to join me on this journey. That's what we're going to talk about today. I'll tell you my story. When I first started putting all the pieces of the puzzle together and I figured out how powerful law of attraction was, I wanted everyone, all my friends, my co-workers, my brother, his wife, my parents, everybody. I wanted everybody on it. I wanted to introduce it to them. I was so excited. I bought tons of books to give away. God knows how many DVDs of The Secret I gave away. I wanted everybody to know this because I knew, I understood that there was no shortage, that all of us could have exactly what we wanted. And I, want, I wanted everybody, and I still do, want everyone to be happy. So after a couple of weeks or months, I found that people were being polite, but they were really not on the same journey as myself. They weren't really there. They weren't willing. They weren't open. They weren't really figuring it out. From some people, I actually got pushback in the sense that they would take me on. They would argue. And I discovered that having a conversation like that made no sense because it left a bad taste in the mouth for everyone concerned. I didn't feel good about it and neither did they. So after a while I decided, okay, I'm going to just stop now. I've, I've done my job in the sense that I've told everybody what I am doing. And if they're not ready for it, then that's fine. I can't drag them along with me. What's that proverb? You know, the one that says you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And then I thought about the story of uh, one of the prophets, I believe it was Noah, who knew um, that the flood was coming and wanted his son and his wife to go with him in the ark, but they would not come. And in the end, he had to leave them behind. He had to leave his son behind. And I thought, you know what? That's, that's, everyone is entitled to making their own decision. I cannot decide for them. I cannot bring them with me. And that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop looking after myself because I think this is what works for me. I have found what gives me the tools that I need in order to start living the life that I want to live. And something wonderful happened. When I let go that desire, that's when it manifested. So our attachment to something, even if it is a wish we have for someone else, can keep it from coming to us. My children, my daughter specifically, who was uh, the older one, my son was, he was born into the law of attraction, but my daughter was not born into it. She was used to the old ways. And when I discovered the law of attraction, she was the first person I wanted to influence with it. She would have none of it. So I just left it alone because I thought it never works well if you try and force something onto someone who's not ready for it. And I just worked on changing my life. 
My life changed in so many ways. We became more prosperous. I became a happier person. And I think the one thing that changed my children's opinion about law of attraction and how wonderful it was to use it was the fact that they saw me change. My voice changed. I'm, I know that my voice has changed. I've become a lot softer in just the way I speak and that's because I've become a lot softer in the way I feel. Um, I think my children notice first of all that the way I handled them changed. Um, I became calmer, I became a nicer person to be with and um, our lives became happier because I was happier. So after a couple of years, my daughter started coming to me for advice and she wanted advice based on the law of attraction. She became curious about how it worked and she wanted to start using it herself. To me, that was a huge accomplishment. It was like, wow. And it happened silently without my having to do anything about it. That's what I want to bring to you because our desire for our friends and family to learn the tools and start understanding the power of the law of attraction is like any other desire. If we have um, an attachment to it, if we look for the results, if we look for the manifestation, we actually push that manifestation away. So I'm going to say to you, that you don't have to bring anyone along on this journey because everybody has their own personal journey. Just focus on yourself. Focus on you becoming a better version of yourself. And when you are able to demonstrate that to the world, everybody will want to know your secret. They will come to you for advice. And that is when you can as Abraham would say, wedge your message in the crack. That's when you tell them how you've used the law of attraction to improve your life. So don't worry about anybody else, even if they live in the same house with you today. Don't worry. They'll come around. They need to see evidence because that's what they're used to. You see, it's not their fault. They've been groomed to, they've been socialized to um, look for evidence of something before they accept it. And as far as law of attraction is concerned, it's kind of out there. It's like woo, woo in the ethers. And a lot of people have to see it in order to believe it. And they see it when they see it in you. When they see what you do with it, that's when they start thinking, hmm, there must be something to this stuff. Why don't I find out more? And when they come to you to find out more, that's your opportunity. That's when you tell them how you've changed, what you've manifested. And that's where you become the teacher and you show them, bring them along gently, not all at once. Give them only as much as they're asking for. Because you know, if somebody is not asking the question, they're not ready for the answer. It's just like at school, why do children forget everything that they learn in class? Well, they forget because they weren't wanting to learn in the first place. We wanted them to learn. They were never asking the question. And so we make them remember the answers while they are in school. But soon as school is out, they forget it because it was of no value to them. Think about yourself. I, I know that those things that excited me at school, I never forgot them. I still remember the lessons and the teacher and the books that I really, really enjoyed learning from. And everything else is gone, right? So when, and that's why they say, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. You are a teacher just like I am. You are a powerful teacher and you will teach everyone around you by first 
demonstrating it yourself. That's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this talk. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel and come back for more. If you have a question, send me a message through my website, zmahoon.com. And I would love to hear your feedback, so do leave me a comment below. Bye for now.